Hi my friends, very healthy and nutritious I told you a snack and on that can bowl with it. This is a adventurous activity site and we can get it. Our Katania the Chayam, but only thing you adult to supervision and dial Mathramadi. If you are a snack, you will be a healthy snack. Joseph and on that can bowl with it. If you video is tipping, you will like and subscribe and mark it. Hey guys, I'm back and today we're going to be making fruit roll-ups out, out of mango and honey only. As a kid, I love fruit roll-ups, but they're not that healthy. This is perfect because it's healthy and tasty at the same time. So let's go make it. Alright, I'm the first step is to peel it. And I'm going to try to peel it, but if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to ask my older brother. And you might want to ask a parent or an older sibling. So, all right. Just peel and make sure to get all of that skin off. Try to get all of it off because you don't want any of that in your fruit roll up. So after cutting it, and I would not suggest, and you shouldn't use the knife, um, so you should ask an older sibling or an adult if you're younger. So yeah, after cutting it into big chunks, and this is what the core should lo looks like, and it's not important, so you can just throw it away. Also, next we're gonna uh, next we're gonna blend it. All right, so now we're gonna blend it. So I'm gonna start. It's fitting like pieces of puzzle, it, like it just slides in and I found that really cool. And here's the last, threw the cap on, tighten it all All right, up. now we're gonna blend it and for about a little bit time of doing it, it's not completely done yet, so I'm gonna add the honey. And you wanna add honey depending on how sweet your mangoes were, so mine weren't that that sweet I'm gonna add some more some honey mine were intermediate intermediately sweet so I'm only gonna add one tablespoon but yeah you can add two if you really want it to be sweet then I'm gonna tighten it again and start mixing again all right all right so now once you're when it's all blended you're going to take a baking tray, which you can get almost anywhere, even at your local dollar store. And then you take some parchment paper and just cut around this area. Cut it so that it's kind of like, then you'll need the parchment paper, which should be pretty easy to get. And you just spread it like around here. And there's a little like blade there so you can cut it. And yeah, now we pour our liquid into there. Ooh, mine's gonna be a bit thick. Ooh. I actually don't have a spatula, so I'm gonna use this and just try and spread it. Otherwise, some places will be overcooked and some places will be undercooked. So it should look around this, like we're not the best at it. So it's not completely even. But what you can do is kind of like try and move it around, try and even it out. But uh, let's put it in the oven and see what happens. All right. All right, so you need to preheat it to 175 degrees. The only thing is some ovens don't have a preheat. So we, so like us, we hit bake and then you just adjust it at 175 degrees. And and then you put it for around two hours. It's cooked and we can look inside. Wow, that looks really nice. I can actually, well, I can smell it and it smells so good. Um, now we have to keep it in the oven for about 45 minutes for it to cool down. And it actually came out pretty nice. Not pretty nice, see it's like coming out really easily. That means it was, uh, it was it's really cooked and we can start cutting now we're gonna actually cut it but what i'm gonna do is kind of like roll it first and then we're gonna use some scissors to cut it so try and roll it a bit tight because you don't want it so 
possible. And then we're gonna take some scissors. You, this is a paper cutting scissors, so it should be pretty safe. So we're gonna cut about one inch. It may be hard to cut, so you might, you probably will ask, you probably wanna ask an adult to do it. All right, so this came out really good actually. So now we're gonna try one. All right, and whoa, it comes out pretty good. And let's see how that peels. Wow, that peels really nice. And now let's try it. Oh, it's a bit squash, squishy on one end. Mmm. Tastes really good. So yeah, that's how you make mango fruit roll-ups. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.